and welcome to the Uma Show. Let me ask you a question today. How much do you take care of your hands? Well, if you think about it, I'm sure not much, as much as you should be. Maybe you go for manicures regularly. Maybe, you know, sometimes you do a little bit of um, putting your hand cream or maybe, you know, do a little bit of massage but not on a regular basis. Most of us don't do anything for our hands on a regular basis. And if you do, then it's amazing. Um, that's, that's great. I wasn't doing personally. Uh, I wasn't really taking care of my hands the way I should be for a long, long time. But it's just recently that I started taking care of my hands properly. Though I do so much of face massage and face yoga and all of it, my hands were somehow neglected. And I started to see, you know, dryness and my skin was kind of behaving weird here. And that's how my hands got my attention. And I started taking care of them. And within a month's time of being regular with my hand care, I see a huge improvement in my hand skin. It's not as dry. It feels good. It feels more relaxed. Um, and so many other things. So let's talk about our hands. So we are constantly using our hands, right? For everything, literally, we are uh, cleaning with our hands, we're cooking with our hands, we are on the laptop with our hands, we are picking things up, we are just, you know, playing with our kids and laundry and uh, everything, basically. You can't do without your hands. But do you spend even five minutes taking care of your muscles and the joints and, you know, giving love to your hands. Most of us don't. So in today's video, I'm going to show you some massage techniques that you can do for your hands and a little bit of TLC, little scrub, little, uh, you know, maybe a hand mask and some cream and my hands will be transformed. They'll just feel so good. So right now I've not done anything. And also being on the phone and being on the laptop, I feel like my fingers are really tired and especially the muscle here and the joint here really, you know, if I press it pains. So that means it really needs attention. And I'm sure you, you can try it right now. The, this, uh, if you're, you know, uh, right handed or left handed and you're scrolling with this thumb, then you will definitely feel that pain here, the tension pain, that stress pain here. So these things really need our attention and if you're a therapist and if you are uh, you know working with your hands like I do then it needs even more special care. So let's start with some hand massage. We will start by massaging the center of our palm. So we'll keep our thumb here and four fingers here and just go in circular motion as you can see. Just little circular motion with our thumb and maybe you can press a little more so that you can feel the release you can feel the release so we'll start with this area you can do it for a few seconds then let's move on to this area the thumb area and this joint Let's press here. You can press it with this or like this, however is comfortable for you. And do a little bit of circular motion here with a nice pressure. You'll feel it's getting relaxed and you'll feel the movement here. Feel the energy flow. You'll feel the blood circulation. And that's all so important, right? Once you're done with this joint, let's come to this this finger, the, the pointer, and just press here. You can also do it like this. So this is how I'm holding it. Whatever, however is comfortable, as long as you're releasing the pressure here and doing a bit of massage on that joint. Then come to the middle finger here, massage that area a bit, that joint. How many times we end up touching this, right? We don't even know how it feels. <laughs> it's just lately, I've, ever since I've started doing this massage, I know my hands so much better than I knew them. It's almost like, you know, 
an introduction to my hands. It's like talking to them that I never did before. And then come towards your ring finger. So massage here. A few seconds, if you want to count, you can do it like 20 circular motions here. And then you can do here. The small pinky, the joint there. After a few seconds, let's move up. Let's go towards this joint. Let's massage this joint. We are start, we're doing for one hand, then we'll move on to the other. Again, few seconds here. And then this joint of ring finger, few seconds. Then move on to the middle finger. the point uh, and the thumb. Once you're done with that, then move on to your knuckles. So press this and do circular motion and massage knuckles. Feels so good, so good. Move on to the other finger. And then to the other. As I said, if you have time, spend some time just giving that love to your hands. But if you don't have time, you can do a quick one, but make sure you're consistent with it to see results. So all the knuckles are done. It's so quick and easy, you can actually do it anywhere. Just take a few minutes break and do it, just not while driving. And then move on to this joint, the top joint, and then repeat the circular motion with a little bit of pressure with all the fingers. And then you can massage the tip of the fingers feels great, really feels amazing once you do it. And then just pull your fingers a bit like this. So you're releasing all the stress from the joints at the same time. By adding the pressure, you're massaging it. You can also go like this while pulling it. So you pull and you can do this little circular motion there. Oh, it feels so good. I can feel the difference in this hand and this one because I can feel the energy flow. I can feel this feels so light right now. Um, all the little bit of you know stress and tension that pain that i had that's gone it just feels so different right now and then you can move on to the other hand as i said so you will start from the center then you'll move on to these joints and then these joints and then the knuckles then the top joints then the tip massage the tip and then Pull the fingers. So take some time and do it. And then you will, if you're, it, maybe you can put a little extra uh, attention here because if you're scrolling too much, then this needs attention. So yeah, so that's the hand massage. Um, I mean, as I said, it increases blood circulation. It, you know, helps in lymphatic drainage. It helps in... Um, moving the nutrients properly in this part uh, when you do all, all of these and it just is obviously eventually great for your hand uh, aging you know because you know that our hands and neck shows our age 
uh, faster than our face because of the same reason because we don't take care of our hands and neck as much as we take care of our face and I was doing the same mistake and once you start taking care of it you will see the change in the skin um, and you will see that it looks healthier it's kind of you know smooth and it looks it has like a bit of glow that I didn't have before I can see the difference now and uh, it's just so important to incorporate this in your routine and after you're done with the massage you can just do this if you want but I'm going to show you the other three things that I do and I like to do which really makes my hands feel amazing they thank me a million times and I feel that they're thanking me so let's move on to hand scrub which I'm going to make at home so yeah, moving forward from the massage, I'm going to do a few more things to take care of my hands and I'll start with a scrub. So obviously I want something organic, homemade, so there are no chemicals that my hands are absorbing. I'm going to be making some coffee sugar scrub, which is very simple to make. I've taken some coffee, some sugar, I'm going to mix them with water and the scrub will be ready and then I'm going to apply I'll wash it off after the scrub and then apply some aloe vera this is from my garden I've just taken off the the meat and then um, just made it a little bit of paste kind of a thing to apply and then I'll keep this for maybe 10 to 20 minutes and then apply some cream so let's start I've taken a few spoons, I've not really measured, of coffee and I am adding a similar amount of sugar. Then I'm going to add a few spoons of water. I've added now two tablespoons and the consistency looks perfect. sugar and coffee scrub you can add any essential oils if you want anything calming maybe lavender chamomile or anything that you love to this paste I haven't I've just used two ingredients three ingredients with water so that's ready and I'm going to scrub my hands After the scrub and the mask, it feels amazing. You can use your own scrub or buy a commercial one from any brand. Any scrub will do. Any face scrub you can use on your face, um, on your hands actually. Um, or um, as I said, you can have any other concoction. I used coffee and sugar. You can use anything else. For the mask also, you can use any other face mask that you're using for your hands. So after I'm done with the scrub and massage, the scrub and the mask, I'm going to apply some cream. Here I'm using pure shea butter because I want to, I feel like my hands need something heavier, creamier. But you can use any other hand cream, whatever you have. Um, so apply the cream and while applying it, maybe do a little more of your hand massage. and voila it's done hands feel so amazing they feel light they feel so relaxed they also feel so soft 
really soft. That's amazing. So hand massage has so many other benefits. It actually balances your uh, nervous system. So if you are on a fight or flight mode or your sympathetic nervous system is activated, you can do a little bit of hand massage to come back to parasympathetic nervous system, which is more relaxing and, you know, which is more centered. So um, it really helps with your anxiety. So if you're feeling anxious, hand massage can relieve you from that. It also helps a lot with headache for a lot of people. So if you are experiencing constant headache, do a hand massage and maybe you will see a huge difference because there are so many nerve endings in our hands. Um, so try all of it and let me know how it goes. And uh, as I said, I have started doing it regularly and I feel so good. I literally feel my hands are thanking me because I've never taken care of them the way I'm taking care of them now. So um, that's why I wanted to share this routine with you. And let me know what scrub you're using, what mask you're using. Let me know how you have curated and created this to your own benefit. Um, and are you doing it regularly? So share with me your experience. Thank you so much for watching this. If you want to learn face yoga and face massage, you can go on my website and check out my seven day facelift online program. I also have an online program on healing your skin naturally by yourself called Holistic Skin Care Masterclass. And if you're a professional and you're looking for an accredited course, then from my academy, Pro Age Aesthetics Academy, we have ongoing course called Neo Lifting, which is a massage technique to lift your face. So check it out. The website is below the video. I'll see you soon. Till then, I'm sending you lots of love and help. Bye.